on air and you're on air. Okay, yeah. So the uh, uh, the table. Yes, the table says that phosphorus. Uh, so should I tell you time? Tino ka ah. then tino. Ah. The uh, phosphorus system says that uh, uh, the activity sustained less than thirty seconds. Perfect. Non oxidative says that it can sustain thirty seconds to three minutes. Mm -hmm. And sedative says that it sustained more than three minutes. Okay. All right. Second, uh, ATP output. So ATP output of synthesized to produce ATP is the same thing. Ha, similar here. To so synthesize means to break down. Output is to produce, to combine and produce. So, many, many. Let's say, for example. Right now, I synthesized a uh, few vegetables to make a sorted vegetable sabzi. You know, so how much sabzi was the output? So here, uh, so here it is uh, synthesized to produce ATP. Is uh, is the breakdown of carbs which Yield lactic acid. Perfect. But how much right. ATP is produced with each cycle? How much quantity? So, how much quantity? How much quantity? How much quantity? How much quantity? Ah, to, didn't I tell you yesterday that we need to know about the quantity? How much? No? So no what quantity. I'm talking about now, I'm going to be a little bit different. Okay. Okay, so no matter what, let's see the quantity. Let's see the time. Let's see the time. ATP output is the uh, phosphorus is Creatine kinase when added to ADP. No. So output okay. basically I meant is how much ATP each can produce. That's the output. Synthesis oh. means what it uses to make that ATP. So output you know you want to know how much, all right. So then synthesis What it synthesizes? Is, is it what it huh. breaks down to make that ATP? So then carbs for non-oxidative. Oh. For oxidative is carbs and lip, lipid and less protein. Oh. Right? Oh. And uh, phosphorus is is this phosphocreatin? Yes. Right? So I need to figure out uh, ATP output. Alright. All right. Now did you read excitation of myofibers? No sir, I had to go through this before. Okay. So let's go through. Okay, what you have to go through, do you have any questions? No. Okay. If I have to read this, it was a little easy for me to understand. Okay. Plus, वो वीडियो नहीं मुझे इतना वो नहीं है। ओके। तो एक्साइटेशन से पढ़ सकते हैं। हम्म। माइओफाइबर्स विल कंट्रैक्ट ओनली ऑन स्टिमुलेशन बाय द नर्वस सिस्टम। द अ सिंगल मोटर न्यूरॉन एंड ऑल द माइओफाइबर दैट इट इनोवेट्स कंप्राइज व्हाट इज रेफर्ड एस अ मोटर यूनिट when stim stimulated, all the myofibers of the motor unit contract simultaneously and it and at maximal force. All myofiber of a single motor unit are of the same type. Now this is what is very important to know. This law in point number two. They say that when action potential is created in the brain, 
and it travels <laughs> through the nervous system and it reaches the neuromuscular junction and mm -hmm. it excites all the units that that neuromuscular junction innervates. Mm -hmm. So what happens there is it innervates with the maximum force and it in all innervate together. So if you have switched switch on ki, to wo switch jo jo light se connected hai. All the lights will go on together and they will go on at this uh, most available brightness. Right. That, that is something known as all and none law. And specifically, the all and none law is very famous for your heart because heart also works on electrical impulse. Right. There is a certain voltage that goes through the heart and excites the heart to contract. Now, if there is a little, even a little less voltage, mm. then what heart is required to contract with, the heart won't contract. So, if you have a less voltage, then it will beat less. Okay. Why that? Full voltage se completely full power ke saath contract karega ya to nahi karega. Nahi karega. That's why it's called all or none. Mere ko do to pura do varna mein kuch nahi karega. No bargaining here. All myofiber of a single motor unit are of the same type. Same type is the whole muscle is able to regulate its force production during contraction either by controlling the number of motor units that are activated or by varying the firing rate of neural uh, impulses delivered by the motor neuron to its myofiber. The whole muscle is able to regulate its force production during contraction either by controlling the number of motor units that are activated or by varying the firing rate of Sir, what is it? By varying the firing rate of neural impulses delivered by the motor unit. Well, varying the viral rate is what? Firing rate. Firing, firing rate, yani, let's say, for example, uh, ko migraine hai. Right? Or aapko usko, us, uspe you are very mad and you want to give him super headache, him or her. So you will put him in front of the strobe light and you will go pop, 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 pop. You will increase the firing rate of the lights. That will stimulate the optic now and cause the migraine to be activated. Right, so theoretically, I mean, that's what I've learned. Right, and if you go slower, like you can go to, 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 so that firing rate can be adjusted by your brain. Do you want to go fast or you want to go to, 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 right? So that firing rate of impulses that are sent from the brain to contract the muscle that can be adjusted. Is the emphasis to cut it? Kiske over? Full uh, neuromuscular uh, junction or is the neuromuscular system. Say. It is very important. Of course. Neuromuscular system is a system that neuro means it tells you when to contract and muscle it contracts. So it's like a driver and a car. So if you want to win the race, you need to know how the driver functions and you need to know how the car functions. Slowly, slowly, you have an idea. 
during maximal force output by the muscle all the all of its motor units have been recruited and each one is firing at its highest possible rate so do maximum force अगर आप एक सार्कोमियर या मोटर यूनिट को आप एक बार जो वोल्टेज उसको चाहिए वो दोगे तो मैक्सिमम फोर्स के साथ ही कॉन्ट्रैक्ट करेगा वो ऐसे धीरे से कॉन्ट्रैक्ट नहीं करेगा सो द ओनली थिंग दैट वी कैन ऑल्टर इज द फायरिंग रेट दैट इज ऊपर से जो सिग्नल आप एक दो तीन चार पांच छह सात आठ सिग्नल दे रहे हो या एक दो तीन चार ऐसे सिग्नल दे long term effects of training on myofibers any time of training whether it is resistance or endurance training will cause a conversion of type 2x type 2 10 hoga na sir ye ha bhai you can say b fiber to type 2a okay so a any type of training whether it is resistance or endurance training will cause a conversion of type okay in contrast neither form of training endurance or resistance is capable for a more dramatic conversion between type 1 and type 2 myofiber prolonged resistance training will result in a significant increase in the size of myofiber particularly those of a type second category endurance training on the other hand does not bring about टूल If you are, let's say for example, ये ढक्कन है पेन का सो द पेन डज नॉट सिलेक्ट टू गो इन टू द कैप इट्स द कैप विच विल सिलेक्ट विच इज द राइट पेन दैट विल फिट इन यू एंड हाउ दैट वर्क एंड वाई एम आई सेन दिस विद दिस इज वॉट हैपन्स इज यू कैन टर्न टाइप टू फाइबर्स so specifically from type 2b to type 2a right type 2b to type 2a but you cannot turn the fibers from type 2 to type 1 so you can have slow twitch fibers and you can have fast twitch fibers fast twitch fiber a and b and fast twitch fibers a and b can be turned but you cannot have fast twitch fiber converting to slow twitch fiber or slow twitch fiber converting to fast twitch type uh, fiber thus that means that if your body already has more slow twitch fibers then you are more selected towards endurance uh, sports like marathon if you have uh, there are a lot of ways uh, there is genetics there is testing there is that now to नाउ नॉट ओनली पीपल से दैट पता चल जाता है बट पीपल से दैट दैट कैन ऑल्सो बी मॉड्यूलेटेड वाइल द बेबी इज इन दूम विथ जीनोमिक्स विथ अ टेक्निक कॉल्ड क्रिस्पर राइट जेनेटिक्स में भी मतलब इसे कैसे पता चलेगा मेरा स्लो ट्विच फाइबर है या फिर फास्ट हाँ सो एवरी DNA DNA is a strand of genes so every gene is designed for a particular trait so now when you can recognize that gene you can recognize whether you're going to be brown black blue green violet whatever so if i can read your dna i can tell you what you are ethnicity gender height color color of your eyes have a, i don't know whatever your dna is like the script of you and not only i can tell about you but i can tell about your generation
right? So that's all they're trying to say that if a person, if you can successfully manage to understand and know via experience, why are there movements that predominantly which type of fibers their body is having? Then you can use that type of exercise to benefit them more because if a slow twitch fiber person with majority of slow twitch fibers is training for strength or power, 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 not only he'll be uncomfortable or she will be uncomfortable, but they will also not see so much of benefits. Right. They just train them. They just train them. Okay, I'm gonna show you a very exciting documentary on this. Mm. But you're not going to be able to hear it, right? Can you hear it? I am on YouTube. I am on YouTube. I am on YouTube. I am Just play it so that I can tell you. Okay. Yeah. Ah, you can see the screen now? Mm. Huh. Where do you see your downloads? How do you see subscription? Library. Here I have my downloads. It's a beautiful cricket is the subcontinent's most popular sport played. Library in the library, mein mere aare downloads. Library, mein na? but phone, 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 your channel, right? Not your channel. You're showing the difference. Which? Yeah. But... History. But that is part to library. Library, where do I download? Sir, it will upload. No, it upload not be uploaded, it downloads not be uploaded. Look, show more, show. Home 30, it's workout in the gym. Played almost everywhere, from makeshift pitches. 
He is the greatest sporting idol this country has known. Sachin Tendulkar is internationally recognized as a cricket phenomenon. For over 17 years, he's not only been wowing millions of cricket fans all over the world with his skill, he's also recognized as one of the major sporting and cultural icons in his own cricket crazy part of the world. Cricket is the subcontinent's most popular sport, played almost everywhere from makeshift pitches to the finest grounds. It's truly the every man's game. And in India, Sachin is its reigning king. Sachin's rise to international cricket stardom is an often told story of sacrifice, determination, and hard work. But to best understand what makes him so good, one has to appreciate the pivotal role the batsman plays in the game. Cricket is a game played by two teams of 11 players each. A game can last from one day to five days, depending on the type of tournament being played. Like American baseball, it's a bat and ball game. The object is to score points known as runs. To score runs, the batsman has to hit a ball bold at him. Like baseball, runs are scored by sprinting between two wickets, the equivalent of bases, or hitting the ball to or over a boundary rope, similar to a home run. But hitting the ball is the tricky part, because bowlers use all manner of speed and spin on a cricket ball to make it as difficult as possible for the batsman to hit it. A cricket ball leaving the hands of an experienced pace bowler can be blindingly fast and incredibly unpredictable. With speeds in excess of 160 kilometers per hour, a cricket ball travels just as fast as a baseball, but unlike baseball, a cricket batsman has to face dozens of balls and compete for hours on end. This means to be an effective batsman. So here what they're saying is that in this documentary, they are going to show you why Sachin Tendulkar is different from not only other athletes, but other cricketers themselves, right? Other cricketers themselves, right? So, what they are saying is, what are the attributes that makes him so different than others, right? Now they are gonna in 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 a while they are going to discuss the uh, physiological and physical attributes that he carries, right? Now, before we go on to that, what they are saying right now is, this game, unlike baseball, in baseball what happens is the rule is that the ball is going to come straight flying at you, right? So there is not so much that you have to decide because here the ball is going to bounce, the ball is going to swing and the ball is going to restrict the pace because when it's coming through and through in the air, it's going to reach you smoothly. You can anticipate the trajectory, right? Whereas in cricket, you cannot because if the wicket is very slippery, the ball is going to skid faster. And if the wicket or the pitch is very uh, uh, rough, the ball is going to stop and come. Right? And all that difference of the speed that ball comes at you, with the height that it is going to come at you, with the swing that it is going to come at you, all this 360 degrees of motion, it makes even harder for the batsman to decide how to hit the ball. Now, in baseball, what happens is you strike, you run, and you come back. You're, you, you put a home run and it's done. Right? Here, you got to stay on the wicket for hours and hours and hours. So, it becomes just another level of endurance that the batsman has to have. But, in with the endurance, the batsman needs power. Why? Because he has to hit the ball in probably, which they are going to explain soon, that much amount of time, right? One has to have incredible stamina and remarkably fast reflexes. With over 10,000 runs to his name, Sachin Tendulkar is undoubtedly one of the greatest batsmen in cricket history. An accolade he's dedicated his life to attaining. But what are the physical and mental attributes that have made him so? What, for Sachin Tendulkar, is the difference. So now they are going to discuss 
the physical and mental attributes now let's look at that Statistics suggest that India's Sachin Tendulkar is one of the world's greatest batsmen. But what is the difference that sets him apart? To excel in international cricket, a batsman like Tendulkar must have four key attributes. The ideal physique, good technique, a well-honed temperament, and lightning reflexes. Okay, so they talked about four key attributes. Right? Did you get to hear them? Uh -huh. Which one? हाँ, which ones? बात करो ना मैं वापस सुनती हूँ। अच्छा। थोड़ा सा। What is the difference that sets him apart? To excel in international cricket, a batsman like Tendulkar must have four key attributes: the ideal physique, good technique, a well-honed temperament, and lightning reflexes. Got it? Physique हो गई ideal physique. हाँ. Then, then technique. Very good. बात ही तो नहीं समझ आया. A good temperament. Okay. Because you cannot, you cannot be raging out there. You cannot be raging because okay. rage will distort your vision. Right? Because okay. of the heart rate and blood okay. rate, right so you have to control your temperament fear ho gaya anxiety ho gaya excitement ho gaya right and second you need to have lightning reflexes so what are reflexes so reflex is 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 an ability of a person to react to something so let's say again, coming back to your game, let's say for example, you were about to slap me for some reason. Or we were just practicing, right? And I tell you, you know what? Do it when, when you think that you have the best chance of hitting my face. So you're going to wait, you're going to wait, you're going to wait. And just in a split of second, you're going to try and swing your hand. Now, if I have very, very good reflexes, I will be able to see it. And I will be able to initiate my brain, initiate the neuromuscular junction and contract the muscle and move out of the way. But if you are faster than my reflexes can cope up with, right? Reflex is just reaction of my brain with my muscle, right? That's when motor neurons or a motor system plays a part, mm -hmm. right? So how fast that can react is reflection. Reflexes, right? So for you to be here at an international stage, you need ultra, ultra, ultra fast fit reflexes. And they'll tell you why just now. In terms of physique, whilst international batsmen come in all shapes and sizes, cricket experts and sports physiologists have argued that Sachin may have been blessed with a perfect physique. The history books tell us that the very best batsmen rarely grow to great heights. Just below Tendulkar in the top five run scorers of all time is his mentor and friend, Sunil Gavaskar. At a diminutive 1.625 meters, that's five feet four inches, he packed a powerful punch that took him to the top of the sport throughout the 1970s and 80s. Among Tendulkar's peers in the top five rankings is West Indian batsman Brian Lara, who shares the limelight at only 1.7 metres tall or 5 feet 7. Further back in time, the legendary Australian batsman Sir Donald Bradman, who reigned supreme in the 1930s and is arguably the greatest batsman of all time, was also just a mere 1.7 metres tall. It's no coincidence that he... So, what they are saying is, ideal physique in this particular sport as batsmen is low and why do you think is that
let's let's look at it from a biomechanics point of view maine wohi socha to tha ki kaun sa system isme work karega ha so okay so i found myself a bat now what they are saying is for specifically a batsman you need low height right so now if you have small legs that means that comparatively your arms are going to be small right now if you have a small arm here right this as soon as you add the bat to it the arm increases in length ha uh. because this your shoulder joint is the fulcrum ha uh. right and the longer you go right it's harder to control I'm getting my point because uh. the weight is here the weight is at the end oh, yeah. the effort is in the middle and the fulcrum is at the end so that becomes which uh, uh cover sorry cover matlab so velocity to nahi hai power hi hai why power mein load kahan pe hota hai पावर में लोड इमेजिन इमेजिन बीच में होता है लोड हाँ तो इधर लोड कहाँ पे हाँ और बीच में क्या है स्पीड वेलोसिटी एग्जैक्टली सो दैट्स वे दे कैन स्विंग फास्ट right so when they can swing fast if you have lever of power the more the longer you have your hand the more load you have and because it's lever of velocity not power you need less load for it to perform better right so the shorter you are the shorter your leg uh, hand will be and the shorter your hand will be you will be able to generate faster reactions because now your load is less right i think uh, this guy is also a sports physiotherapist he's going to probably explain the same thing i don't remember this is what you find generally that the world's greatest batsmen are actually of a short stature and, and the reason for that is is to be able to um use their short levers to be able to you got what he said is because for them to be able to use their short levers effectively okay move quickly and obviously react when we talk about levers we are always talking in terms of uh, um the length of of the segment of the body um in this case because we're talking about the batsman uh, in relation
rotation to the point of rotation. So for an action, I, I think um, the, the action will take place about the shoulders. So when we talk about a short lever for Sachin Tanduka, it would mean that the length of his arm is much shorter than a bowler. You would prefer a bowler to have longer arms. Because now, on the contrast, you'd want a bowler to have a longer arm. Why? Because the longer arm, the faster it will swing. Because your ball is end the end. So, jitna the arm long hoga, utna arm fast swing karega. Getting any? So, let's say for example, you have you tied a rock to a string and you're spinning it. Now, the longer the string will be, you'll be able to. Hear the whiz of the rock spinning faster, even if you and your friend with a shorter rope is spinning at the same rate. Mm. Right? If you're spinning, let's say, 23 cycles per minute, your friend is also spinning at 23 cycles per minute. But if you have a longer rope, your, your rock is covering more distance in that one minute. <laughs> Whereas the shorter right. rope, it's covering less distance. So if one minute may agar aap zada distance cover kar rahe ho, to aapki speed zada hui. Right? right. So because a polar's arm swings, right? The the longer it is, the longer it is, the velocity of the ball will be faster. So that's where if you see all the successful and great ballers are six, six and a half above. Whereas all great batsmen are five, five and a half below. That's where biomechanics works. So now if I have a child and in my family I says, you know what, my wife is short. I'm short. Probably my kid may not grow up to be that tall. On an average, he can grow two or three inches taller than us, but not that tall, right? And even growing up. So I say, you know what? If I'm interested in cricket, and if he's showing a lot of inclination towards this game, I'll probably try and train him to be a batsman rather than a bowler. Right. Whereas, so what's your huh? what's your height? Five ten. Oh, sorry. Five. 5, 172, 172 centimeters. 172 to sir, 5, 8 ke aspas hua hai? Ah, 5, 8, 5, 8, 5, 9, yes. Because mine is 170. 170, okay. Mine is 172. Yes. Right. So that's where understanding of biomechanics can also help you select the right sport or right game or right activity. If you have a tall person and you make him do something like this, where you got to swing, you got to swing, you got to swing, it's going to be difficult for you. Whereas if you make him do this swing, You'll, you'll be able to jump. Uh, okay. In the case of swimming, huh? tall person can uh, swim faster. Or faster or short person? See, it in swimming it can go both ways, right? Why? Because no, well, no. In swimming, I think. Tall people have more advantage. Not because of the distance. Right? Because of, because of, of the swimming, may basically your pecs are very, very involved. Your pecs, your pectoralis major, and your back. So trapezius, latissimus, dorsi. Right? Those muscles are heavily involved. And if you're taller... Shoulders are also involved, sir. Yeah, yeah shoulders also. But shoulders are involved in fast rotation. 
but giving a stroke pushing the water back so that you propel forward right and getting out of that stroke initially hitting so chest 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 and then back 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 right right so shoulder is here which has not so much of uh, effort whereas this is your chest 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 back 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 shoulder chest 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 back 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 so ye jo chest aur back ka ye jo itna sa part hai na that if obviously if you are taller you have more muscles if you have more muscles, that... you can generate more power i'm um, relatively yes relatively aisa zaruri nahi hai but as an athlete if you are taller you will be able you have more space for more muscles Right. So, um, yeah, different um, mechanical concept that's clear there. Uh, in the case of batting, you want to swing as fast as you can because the size of the bat, the length of the bat is controlled. So that is a fixture that cannot be changed. So the only thing that changes is the length of the arm. Standing at a diminutive 1.63 meters tall or 5 feet 4. Sachin Tendulkar's relatively short arms or levers offer him a natural advantage in his chosen discipline. In addition, the makeup of the muscles within Sachin's arms may also offer a clue to his success. Makeup of the muscles. Muscles make body movements possible through fibers which fire or expand and contract to create a specific physiological action. There are two kinds of fibers: fast twitch and slow twitch. there are two kinds of fibers fast twitch and slow twitch right fast twitch fibers fire in rapid succession creating explosive power and speed slow twitch fibers on the other hand expand and contract less frequently and in a sustained manner slow twitch fibers create motion and action that can be sustained over a longer period some of us have got a greater proportion of slow twitch fibers others have a greater proportion of fast twitch fibers which explains possibly the natural selection um, so what he specifically saying is some of naturally dna wise hamare ancestors kya karke bade hue hain depending upon that some of us have naturally fast twitch fibers in more proportion and some of us has naturally slow twitch fibers in more proportion that's why naturally if you have fast twitch fibers like usain bolt right and you happen to go in a very explosive game like 100 meter dash or sprint sorry right so now you are naturally selected for that game right why some athletes go into certain sports so those with a uh, majority of fast twitch fibers tend to go into explosive events um sprinting uh, gymnastics those with uh, slow twitch fibers tend to go into endurance type of events in a sport like cricket uh, you need a lot of uh, explosive power in swinging the bat um uh, vigorously so uh, if such an endoker is known to have a greater proportion of fast twitch fibers than he is naturally well selected um or he would have selected himself naturally in that sport so sachin's combination of a relatively short stature allied with a seemingly optimal blend of fast and slow twitch fibers offer him major advantages but added to this winning formula is a physical trait he shares with all top level batsmen remarkable flexes so now the now they say short 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 stature right for which his lever was perfect because longer the arm the lever will be distorted it will be difficult for him to swing right so that thing was advantage for him another advantage that he had was he was naturally his fast twitch fibers were more in proportion than his slow twitch fibers तो सर इसने ये बोला है ना कि फास्ट ट्विच फाइबर्स आर मोर एक्सप्लोजिव यस तो उसमें इसने दिखाया भी था दैट पर्पल कलर लाइक ही हैज फास्ट ट्विच फाइबर्स ये नॉट ही वो तो एक एग्जांपल बता रहे थे कि व्हाट आर फास्ट ट्विच फाइबर्स स्लो ट्विच फाइबर्स बट ही इज नोन टू हैव मोर फास्ट ट्विच फाइबर्स सो दस ही कैन क्रिएट एन एक्सप्लोजन 
whenever he is waiting for the ball waiting for the ball and the right time boom right now another thing that they are saying that he has with the short stretcher and the fast twitch fibers is what they are going to explain now is amazing reflexes now you have fibers that means you have ferraris and austin martins and bentleys right which are like fast fast cars and lamborghini right they like amazing fast cars but if you don't have a good driver i can beat you with a maruti right so it's not enough to just have fast twitch fibers means fast cars you need to have a good driver that is your reflexes your brain telling you telling those cars to be controlled telling those muscles when to contract and how fast to contract a cricket ball weighs about 160 grams roughly the weight of a brick match by a fast bowler it becomes a rock hard projectile that at speeds in excess of 150 kilometers can do serious damage this simulation shows just how much damage from the time the ball leaves the bowler's hand it takes less than half a second to reach the batsman it's literally a case of blink and you'll miss it the average human's reaction time is 0.25 of a second this increases dramatically with the complexity of a task and the level of stress you're under when well, batsman sees an oncoming ball um uh, he makes a decision based on his perception the visual image triggers a response that kick started from the brain down to the muscles then the muscles execute the action and a response is produced hitting a speeding projectile in the world cup is possibly one of the most complex and stressful tasks any athlete has to perform it so here if you can see from the moment the ball le leaves the hands of the bowler and till it reaches the bat it takes around It's harder than a golf swing and quicker than a knockout punch with less than 0.3 of a second to react 0.3 seconds not even one complete second 0.3 that means one third of a second and that too the ball is not like light the ball is 165 grams that is almost the weight of a brick to a fast bowler's delivery sachin's ability to hit the ball successfully puts his reflexes on par with fighter pilots and formula 1 racing drivers whose reaction times have been measured at 0.16 of a second a time frame that some scientists have argued is an impossible one in which to make such a complicated decision a lot of the evidence uh, looking at uh, decision making in batsmen is demonstrated that really they haven't got the time to make those decisions and yet they can make them The ball speed isn't the only thing the batsman has to contend with. The amount of spin a bowler imparts on a ball, the characteristics of the pitch, wind velocity, they all play a part in making each ball's trajectory unpredictable. But even with just a split second to react, the time it takes to blink, the best batsman is consistently at the right place at the right time. And Sachin Tendulkar is there more often than most. Yes. Sports vision is the ability to track the ball. is a, a very very high standard to be able to read the ball position oneself and then play the ball such that you play it away from fielders or play it onto the ground that that's the difficult part and that's what he does very well this is a, this is a fine shot Sachin Tendulkar's physical attributes his short stature muscle makeup and remarkable reflexes all play a role in him becoming one of the world's great batsmen but it may be that the true secret of Sachin's success is more than simply physical okay so till now they covered all the physical attributes in which they covered the biomechanics they covered the physiology right the physiology that included two things one the muscle fibers and two sir anatomy bhi to cover kar liya na like he is a short so uska ha that usually is the biomechanics that they are trying to cover okay right because anatomy is the location right so now what one needs to understand is that sometimes luck 
or fate makes you a certain way and puts you into that situation so that you can excel in that particular environment sir just like in lawn tennis lawn tennis also has bat racket so yeah sorry racket ah. so the same philosophy goes uh, with the lawn tennis yes also yes more or less the same more or less the same and they also deal with such high speed although <laughs> the length of the court is a little longer the weight of the ball is a little lesser but again the complexity is the same because the ball swings the ball pitches the ball varies in its pace that it's coming at you with and the racket has very small point it may be a huge racket but if you want to execute your sh shot perfectly there is only one small point on that racket that can give you that shot if i hit at the sure. end of the racket, right which is the same with the same with the bats also right yeah absolutely absolutely we call it the sweet spot right so that's where the complexity and that's where one might think that how does one decide whether they are right for the game or not and that's where what happens is let's say 300 kids are playing or training for the game right one kid he is not he is not anticipating that he is the perfect one for this game but somehow he just ends up becoming the perfect one right and then just like how that guy said in uh, in the starting of the documentary where he says when you have super talent with perfect physique and when you dedicate that super talent and perfect physique to perfection then there is no stopping you there are many people we let's say for example i if you remember i keep telling you with your physique you could have like at at you you could have played any sport at a very very high level because the muscles that pack behind you as far as women are concerned you you naturally have a good build and your height is a little above normal right so that's where many people are there who can be in this sport but somehow you know nature has better ideas for them hmm. all right so that's that we have took a lot of time understanding the musculoskeletal system but i believe it was very important because that's the system that we are going to be dealing with on a very regular basis right now pulmonary system if possible what i would like you to do before we call quits is i want you to go through it today only and probably message me later in the day that these are the points that you did not understand Yeah. Right. Just underline them, and probably just send me a snapshot that these are the lines or points that I did not understand. So that what I what we can do is we can steam through it quickly. Right. But pulmonary system also will take two or three days, ah, huh? because it has certain details that we need a detailed understanding. right okay. things like minute ventilation things like vo2 max things like vital capacity lung volume all these things and that these are also very important for us because we're going to use our lungs because they are going to provide fuel to our motor which is our muscles or the engine you may call All right, मैं एक बार पढ़ लूँगी and then uh, I'll let you know. Yes, please do. Okay, sir.
then see you tomorrow thank you so much i'll see you tomorrow take care bye bye